we may need to be clear going forward that the work permit does not entitle children to be brought here. The lines were long, sentiments were uttered, and the Q-Town church was crammed, as hundreds of Haitian nationals for the first time got the chance to have a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Chief Executive of the Public Sector, Martin Stanley, and consultative forum member, Karen Delancey. He said that, um, he said that a question was asked that why doesn't the Haitian community voice out their opinion? Um, he said that he wants you to answer the question if a slave in any country can voice out their opinion when they're in prison. Land issues like squatting and land scams, apparent pitfalls in the public education system affecting Haitian children, affairs surrounding application for permanent residency certificates, the state of employment in the TCI, the abuse of labor laws by employers, and the alleged abuse by immigration officials were the main issues of discussion. However, their opinions and that of belongers present at one point tend to clash. But that didn't stop them from speaking out. He said that even the employer made it difficult for them to apply for anything or they hide information from them. They didn't allow them to, to move to the other level. He said even if you wanted to buy a piece of land here, the employer constantly reminded them that whatever you do, if you do anything, I can deport you, I can send you back home. Stanley said that his responses to all questions were often personal views as distinct from official views and therefore his responses was not intended to be an official version of any policy. Stanley said that the chaos within the PRC office and others may well be due to a lack of staff and training and that they'll fix. The uh, first thing I want to say is that we have in some ways already made it clear that we expect the enforcement authorities to deal with you in a civilized way. They have, a, they have a very difficult job to do, especially when dealing with illegals. And it's, it's sometimes difficult for them to know whether they're dealing with an illegal who's going to cause problems for somebody who is in here legally but perhaps without papers. The Haitian population is believed to be the largest denomination in the country. For WIV4 News, I'm Nikira John.